So once the JCL Plus plugin for Topaz is installed and you'd like to scan some JCL, you select a member and right click on that member and you'll see the uh, option to, to select JCL Plus and to scan JCL, check JCL. You'll be presented with a window that allows you to specify the target or the LPAR on the mainframe where you want the scan to take place. You enter your user ID and password for that LPAR and click OK. The scan takes place on the mainframe and then returns the results to the Topaz workbench. So you see the results now. Uh, upper left hand screen shows the listing of including the, uh, the errors that occurred and, and uh, you'll have the option to go down and let's say select one of those errors and when you when you select one uh, on the right hand screen you in the listing you see the that spot in the listing highlighted where that error occurred. If you go down and scroll a little bit further and select another error message you're interested in, you see that one listed uh, on the right, highlighted. And in that way, you can go down through and, and uh, look at any of the errors that you're interested in in your listing. So on the right, you see tabs that you can hover over. When you hover over those, more information about the error is presented. Scroll down in any of those and you'll see that they present more information about each of the messages. On the lower right-hand screen, is a summarization of the errors that occurred. If you click on one of those, you'll see the screens above change to position you to where that particular error occurred, both in the upper left screen where the, in the listing that contains the error messages and color-coded, and in the right of your original error JCL listing. So now let's select another member. Uh, that we want to scan. So we right click on that member and again you'll be presented with JCL Plus and, and then that J, the option to check JCL, specify your target LPAR and uh, username and password again and click OK and the scan is done up on the mainframe and the results are presented back in the windows. In the upper left window again you see the error listing for with color coded for that particular member now and if you highlight or scroll over any of those, you would, you would you see those show up and highlighted on the right, like before. Now, and this is an interesting one because on the on the listing on the right, you see uh, that is a VSAM file that's selected, is highlighted there. And then on the left, notice that JCL Plus has expanded the contents of that member and also found a, an error that's highlighted. When you click on that, of course, it positions you uh, to the spot in the listing where that error occurred. Also, at the top of the right screen, you see now two tabs. One tab for each of the two JCL members that you scanned. And you can toggle between the two tabs to see your both of your listings and you know compare and contrast, if you're interested in that, to see the errors that occurred in each. Also, in the list below now, this, this list of errors is now cumulative for both of the members that you scanned. Any one of those error messages, when you click it, will position you back up into the screens. You'll see the screens change up above based on which member the error occurred in. And also in those cumulative error messages, as you'll see to the right, more information about where that error occurred and on which host you were scanning the JCL.